Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, then hello and welcome. Today's video, as you can probably tell from the title, is a PR unboxing. Now, I've seen a few people do these, um, and I've ended up getting really, really engrossed by them. I get sent quite a few items from several PR companies or brands, um, you know, gifting, that it, I'm, they're not paying me, um, there's no money exchange, and a lot of the time I put them on my Instagram stories. Well, for some reason over the last week or so, there's been like an influx of things that I have been sent. Now, some of the things I've got in here, if you want me to do like a more in-depth review on something, please let me know in the comments below. I've got makeup, I've got hair care, I've got beauty, I've got, I mean, there's, there's a lot of stuff there. So if I talk about something, but don't really go into depth in it and you're like, I kind of want to know a bit more about that please, please, please let me know in the comments below because then I will be able to figure out future videos and do like a, a review on something. The first thing I got is this bag from Pixie Beauty. They actually were backstage at the Brit Awards, which I attended last week. And I got a box of so many different products, including, oh, I don't know, including the glow tonic, which actually is in my bathroom because I've started using that already. Yeah, I got the Rose Caviar Essence and Rose Flash Balm, the Glow O2 Oxygen Mask. Oh yeah, that looks fab. I got some Rose Tonic. I got some Quick Fix Powder Primer, always a good one. A couple of makeup bits, an eye pencil eye pencil and a like a lip lift gloss and then finally I got a rose cream cleanser oh yeah that smells so good this is the skin treat rose cream cleanser the Caroline Hirons double cleanse she knows about beauty she knows about skin so if she's telling me to use a double cleanse I'm gonna give it a go and then some makeup remover pads i'm going to start giving them a go like i said if you want a review of anything then let me know what i will attempt to do is i will attempt to list every single thing that i mention in the description box that's going to take me quite a while but it's worth it if i'm letting you guys know on the good good next up is some hair care this is a rather large box that i got sent by kerastas now i've had a couple of kerastas treatments done in my hair and I find this stuff makes my hair feel fab. I've got quite dry hair. Obviously, I've also added some colour to the end, so it's not really helping it. And Kerastas shampoos, conditioners, treatments just seem to work really well on my hair. Look at this collection. This is the Kerastas Aura Botanica range. Got a little booklet with, that looks like, M. Ratajkowski on the front. Who just got married, by the way? Sure. It's all in... French, so I don't really understand. I know I've got a shampoo and conditioner because these are the same bottles as the shampoo and conditioner that I've currently got in my shower. This range is a customised range of eight products, all acting in perfect synergy to offer you the purity of soft, nourished and healthy glowing hair. The shampoo, which is for dry or sensitised hair, I've got dry hair so this is good for me provides 48 hours of durable nutrition. It also acts as a pollution shield to stop particles from reattaching to your hair, which is great living in the city of London. Pollution is a problem. This is a spray that instantly creates a naturally seductive apres surf texture. Oh, so it's just like a sea salt spray. Perfect. Oh my God, and it also is a hair protectant, a heat, sorry, heat protectant, which protects up to 230 degrees. Win. Light as air milk which smooths frizz. Okay, a couple of you girls have messaged me, sent me DMs asking what to do for frizz, and I'm gonna say this is probably one of the things you'll need. I mean, I haven't actually used it yet, but Kerastas, I have faith in. Get yourself one of these if you suffer from frizzy hair that when you go outside, the humidity does its thing. Yay! It's a cow definition air dry, blow dry cream. Boom, for those curly haired girls out there oh speaking of hair i mean this isn't really to do with hair 
I got a new hat, loving. This is by a designer called Ruslan Boglinski and um, they make some fabulous hats. And I saw on Instagram that they make their hats, they make them either Paris or Russia or somewhere. And I was toying between whether to go for just a plain black hat, but I do have a plain black Baker Boy. So I decided to go for red and I am not disappointed by my choice. Bloody love this I do. Very happy. So I'm gonna keep it on for a little bit. Some Glam Glow face masks. These are little minis which are perfect for traveling. You get look, all the little like, mini masks and you basically, on the back it shows you kind of how you can multi-mask by putting the different colors at different parts of your face. Fab, because I've always been interested in multi-masking but obviously I don't know how to multi-mask. So the fact that they kind of tell you what to do is good so you can get a rescue glow, Hollywood glow, pre-party glow, or a flirty glow, just by using this pack of mini masks. Glam glow just know, don't they? They just know. Still on the skincare flex from my faves, Clinique. If you haven't seen my video from last week, it's a Get I'm Ready With Me, featuring one of my favorite Clinique products, Take The Day Off Balm. This is a little box set of loads of different Clinique products, including the Take The Day Off Eye Makeup Remover, which I also use quite a lot. And a headband as well. I just love Clinique products. That's a good one. Thanks Clinique. I'm a huge fan of Jo Malone. Jo Malone candles, Jo Malone fragrances, anything Jo Malone London is a winner. And they have just released these fragrances and they sent them to me in this little pouch. These like limited edition fragrances. First of all, these bottles, can we just look at those? Like they're so pretty, these bottles. This one is Honey and Crocus, and this one is Green Wheat and Meadow Sweet. Oh my God, that's so gorgeous. Oh, it reminds me of like summer, but summer when I was like, like early 20s. Oh, there must be like a similar ingredient in both, whatever it was that I used to smell back then. That was delightful. What's this one? Hang on, I wanna get like normal, just out of my nose, okay. Oh, that's zingy. This is a lot like um, zestier, I think. I don't know if that's the green wheat or the meadow sweet, I have no idea, but um, this is quite like zesty and fresh. This is a lot more like comforting. I mean, I would wear both of these depending on like for different occasions. I think probably the honey and crocus, crocus. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's probably more that wide use every day. These are English Fields, a harvest of five limited edition fragrances. Also there's five fragrances in total and these are just two of them. The others are Poppy and Barley, yes. Primrose and Rye, Oat and Cornflower. And then these two. Oh, amazing. Oh, and they're available for March. Thanks, Jo Malone. They are delightful. Perfect little Mother's Day gift. If my mum doesn't watch this, then hopefully I might give these to her as a little Mother's Day treat. Brilliant. Jo Malone's always a winner for things like Mother's Day, birthdays, things like that. Okay, I'm going to take my hat off just because my head's starting to get a bit hot. But I feel like now I've probably got a line on my head, so we can just ignore that. Okay, next up. Oh, this is all Lancome stuff. So Lancome, Lancome, not entirely sure again how you say it. Um, they actually invited me to the BAFTAs and unfortunately I couldn't go because I was away. But I did say to them that I really wanted to try some of their products, their um, foundation in particular, because my gal, Patricia Bright, was telling me that the Tint Idol foundation is one of her like go-tos. So I said to them, I absolutely want to give that a go. And they've gone and sent me one. So this is it. Apparently it's got super amazing coverage. Um, I, I obviously haven't used it before, so I couldn't give them an exact shade, but I did give them a shade of another brand that I use so they could kind of compare the colors. So I'm really excited to give this a go. Lancome obviously are like, such a huge name in the beauty world. They've also sent me a 
melting mask. Oh, I mean, it's a sheet mask, but it's called the Hydrogel Melting Mask. So give that a go. Um, the Energy de V Illuminating and Purifying Mask. I bloody love a mask, I do. And then a ton of makeup, highlight drops, eye gels, concealers, glosses, loads of stuff. Let me see these highlight drops because these look fat. Yes. Oh, look at that shimmer. Right, if you want me to do a review on all of this long con stuff, let me know because there's a lot here. But if I go through every single item that I've got, this video is going to be extortionately long. So, thanks, Lancome. This is the brand new Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara, which is newly launched. And I'm going to be honest, I haven't actually tried it yet. I've seen a lot of review videos, and so far people are saying amazing things. Obviously, it's super fun packaging, because that's what Benefit is all about. The brush looks good. I like a good mascara. You don't need to spend loads and loads on a mascara. You just need to find one that works well for your eyes and does what you want it to. These bits here, which have come in the cutest packaging, these are from a brand called MZ Skin by Dr. Mariam Zamani. And first of all, the packaging is just... I mean, talk about millennial. And these are all different skin products. So we've got a dual action cleanser and mask, a radiance and renewal refining mask, and a soothe and smooth collagen activating eye complex. Oh, I love a good eye cream. At the minute I'm using the La Mer Eye Concentrate, but I will switch this in and give it a go for a week or so. They're winning with their packaging, so that's enough to get me hooked in. Okay, oh, more Glam Glow stuff. Another Glam Glow mask, Glam Glow Water Burst. Oh, okay. This is by Vichy. Now, I love Vichy products. I actually used to religiously use one of their face washes um, and then I ran out and I'd already had some more face washes kind of lying around. So I didn't actually end up buying another Vichy one because I thought I want to use the ones that I've kind of been sent and that I've got. Um, but they have sent me these treats. Vichy works so well on my skin, personally. I've never had a problem with any of their products. And I find that they really do kind of look after my skin from the inside out. I found that when I was using their face wash, my skin not only felt really clean, but it looked really clear and like bright. I don't know what it's got in it, but it was working well for me. Mineral 89, Fortifying and Plumping Daily Booster. Oh, oh look at that. Fab. And then I've got, oh, guess more masks. My face is just going to be... Fab. In fact, I feel like I've got enough mask products I could probably mask my whole body with different masks. I've got a quenching mineral mask and a double glow peel mask. The double glow peel mask is what I'm all about. Apply for five minutes, rinse off, boom, done. Apply for five minutes, massage the excess in. Cleansing micellar oil. You can never have too many micellar bits, can ya? Micellar, I feel like, has just turned up and taken over the world. Like... Uh, for like three years ago, no one ever knew what micellar or micellar, however you say it, no one knew what it was. Now, can't get enough of it. Boom. Oh, my battery's about to die on this camera. Brilliant. I'm gonna change my battery. I'll be RB. Okay, I've changed my battery. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if the framing is the same as what it was before, but as long as you can still see me, then that's all that matters really, isn't it? Right, where was I? I've got a new bikini from Frankie's Bikinis. I actually really wanted this in time for my trip to Morocco, um, but it didn't arrive in time, but no fears because I can wear it next time I go away. How pretty. And the back has got a really pretty like crisscross detailing. And I believe it is also reversible. So you could just wear it this super cute pink color. So I'm very excited to get back into the sun and wear that. I shall not be wearing it whilst I'm in London because we seem to keep experiencing some weird snowstorms. So, save this for a sunny day. Um, I feel like I've saved one of the best things till last. You know you're living your best life. When you go onto Instagram, 
so you've got a little DM notification. Open it up. And it's only Fenty Beauty saying, we love you, we'd love to send you some products. And I didn't even have to queue up outside Harvey Nichols at like 6 a.m. to get it. I have had my makeup done before by a Fenty Beauty makeup artist. I had it done back in December when I went to the British Fashion Awards with Google. We had Fenty makeup artists come in, do our makeup using all of their products, and it was the first time I had ever experienced using the brand. Let me tell you, I was not disappointed. I have got this entire box of Fenty. Now, I feel like this might be one of the things that everyone's like, do a review on Fenty, do a review on Fenty. I mean, there have been millions of reviews on Fenty, but I will happily do one if it's what you guys want. If no one says about it in the comments, I'm just going to use it myself. But in here, oh my God, I've got Stunner, the lip paint. Yes, yeah, that's right. The famous Stunner. Buzzing. This is actually what I wore at the BFAs when I went in December and I had so many compliments about my makeup. I have got, what is this? Kilowatt Highlighter Duo. Oh my God. Look at that. So spoiled. Oh, these have been sticking together. No, hang on. What was I had a couple of things that were like sticking. Ah, this here. These are the magnetic contour sticks. This is in a mocha. And what's amazing about these, obviously, is that they stick together. Ah! So you can kind of use both of them. You can use a brush or, like, it's just, oh. Not just a good singer, that Riri, is she? Foundation in 210. This was the shade that was used on me for the Fashion Awards. Look at that, I mean, so excited. I could potentially do a full face Fenty using this. So I've got Trophy Wife, guys. Guys, I've got Trophy Wife. I've made it. Mum. I've made it, I've got Trophy Wife. Honestly, nothing excites a girl more than having some new makeup. I know about Trophy Wife, right? I think it would probably be, it would probably be a little too yellow for my skin. A little too shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. However, I'm just happy I've got it. I'll still give it a go. Absolutely. What are you? I've got a brush. Oh. And then I've got a lot of these little things. What are these little things here? These all lip things? Matte lipstick in single Griselda. I've got a blue matte lipstick in Yadig. There's honestly so much stuff here. I cannot go through all of it. But if you want me to do a more in-depth review on all of this stuff, you have to let me know in the comments or how am I going to know? Thank you, Fenty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I've, oh, I've just found some more face masks from that MZ skin and eye patches. Again, more masks. I'm knackered now after all of that. Unboxing is a tough job, guys. Someone's got to do it. Let me know if you enjoyed this sort of video. It's easier for me to do it like this than to do everything on Instagram stories. You have to get the nice picture, pretty picture on Instagram stories. This, I mean, if you could see this right now, there's just carnage on my bed. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what I've been sent and also if you want to see in more detail I'll obviously list everything below in the description box but please do let me know if you want me to go into anything further whether it be you want me to try all the Kerastase shampoos for a little bit and let you know if you're thinking about maybe investing them if you want me to try some of the Longcom makeup or the Fenty makeup or if you just want to know maybe more about the Jo Malone fragrances or where you can get them just let me know and I am here to try and give you the videos that you want. Also, don't forget that every Wednesday I am posting fitness videos. I'm now doing my celebrity workout series. So we've got a lot of celebrity workouts coming your way. So don't forget to check those out as well. So I'm, I've got you covered. I've got you covered on the fitness side. And I've got you covered 
on the makeup and the beauty and all that sort of stuff side. Um, and there will be some more fashion lookbooks coming soon, I promise. It's been hectic with the team that I work with on them. Everyone's just been super busy and we don't want to do it unless we can do it right. So they are coming, I promise. So make sure that you stay subscribed. Turn on notifications if you don't have them on already because then you will know as soon as something goes live. <sighs> I've said a lot now, I'm tired, I need a cup of tea. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.